Hello, Father Jovito, once again from Diocese of Sacramento. My warmest greeting to all of you. Let go and let God. Let go all the worries and anxieties in life. And let God, let God take over it. And don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Hakuna Matata. Don't worry, be happy. Today is May 10 and it's Tuesday. And we are still on the fourth week of Easter. I will be meditating on the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 22 to 30. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus walked about the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long you are going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you that you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe. Because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one can take them out of my Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The feast of dedication was taking place where in Jerusalem, the city of peace. And it was winter time. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered, I told you, but you do not believe. It's a beautiful gospel. It's a continuation of the Good Shepherd Sunday. The voice of the shepherd is the voice of grace. Hearing it and the sheep could not only graze by themselves. They have to rely on the shepherds, which is Jesus Christ himself. Staying with him, not straying far away from him, is assured of a green pasture of refreshing water the more we are closer to the lord the more we have more blessings of refreshing water of the protection from possible attackers or the wolves nothing and no one can snatch the sheep from the watchful eye of the shepherd and the shepherd is their way and life as disciples of jesus we are his flock and a community of disciples, we are called to be channels of His grace and mission. That is compassion, love, care for others, and care for the creation or the world. Whatever work we do, my brothers and sisters, it testifies to the Father at work within us, in our family, and in our loved ones. As in the first reading of the Acts of the Apostles, the voice of the shepherd was heard through them. In our day to day, in this time, we're constantly bombarded with so many sounds and voices, especially in the news, social media, and it could be distracted at times and could be drawn at one voice which gives life. What we do to distinguish the voice of the shepherd from other sounds? How do we help ourselves to be truly attentive, to attune to the Father's channel? Let us pause and listen to the Word of God speaking to us, to those around us, to the world of creation. In our silence, and in the words of Christ, the scriptures in the Holy Eucharist. And that's why it's so important to go to participate the Holy Eucharist. My brothers and sisters, the Good Shepherd is the Lord. We have to follow our Lord and do some actions in our life so that our journey towards heavenly Jerusalem will be fulfilled. God bless you all. 
and have a wonderful day.